Oh, hello. Captive. Mister, I've been trapped down here. Why are you dressed up like that? <laughs> I've seen some sick versions in my time. What is he dressed in? I can't even see. Do. You gotta do something. Please. It's never gonna let me go. Okay, wait. Oh man. I gotta figure this out. <laughs> I gotta figure this out. What is going on, sir? There's some suspicious activity. They're open until 12 a.m. That's kinda crazy. If it's a gun you're after. You want to take a look in the catalog and see what catches your eye. There's a man in your basement! Oh, now. <laughs> That's a fool decision. I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Give me, me. Give me the basement right, right now. now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. D well, I I'll be the judge of that. Open it down. All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I got nothing to hide. Got now you're rubbing your neck. Down there. Such a shame to wake him. Oh, okay. So he comes up with an excuse. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. Yeah. I'm. You just stay away from me. Now, what I tell you about talking to your pa that way. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. He can't see no, all. They do it for us. Don't chains. shoot me, please. Where's just, your chains? Just leave us be. Oh, right here. I couldn't see it. Sorry. Oh, oh, finally. Thank you. Thank you. His haircut. <laughs> he let him sleep down here in a chain and his Please hair looks like me. that. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. Uh. I was teaching Sammy how to hold the rifle proper out by the river. The recoil shot him backwards. He slipped into the river. The water pulled Whoa, him downstream this so is, quick. This is dark. It all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do. I searched up and down that river bank for days. Oh. But I couldn't find my boy. I just miss him so much. And you! You remind me of him. Oh, man. You look just like him. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Oops. It's too late for apologies. You just count yourself lucky that I don't kill you for what you did. I don't know what else you want from me. Take what you want. I don't care anymore. Damn! <laughs> well, no matter if I do, uh, there's a weapon case here, I know that. <laughs> I've been staring at that while y'all were talking. <laughs> Ooh. Who is this? What did I just grab? Oh, is it a repeater? Huh? That's what it says. Oh, and a lockbox. Ooh, coin purse. Yeah, I'ma claim that. I feel kind of... I don't want to say I feel bad because, like... I mean... He's kind of not right at all. I feel bad for what happened to him and the guilt is there, but you cannot... be capturing random boys that look like your son. Liar. The shoes?! Why are their shoes hung up? Oh my god, I can just steal the bullets now. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I got wanted for that. But I'm not gonna get wanted for... Everything else I did? Why? <laughs>
What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I know, what a terrifying sight to see at the very start of this episode. <laughs> it feels like a fever dream, but I wanted to flex. We found the new, the next serial killer clue location. Um, love it, my favorite. Behold on the tree. The human body scares me. Like, we have so many things going on. Like, this, like, there's just chunks. There's chunks on the ground. Leg. <laughs> um, panicking. Here's the head. Oh, wait, is its eyes gone too? Point with you. Was the first head like that too? I didn't even realize. Okay. Oh, okay. So bridge. Stone. House. Kind of. That's what it looks like. You find. So this one says you find. The last one said me. I'm still thinking this is really close to Valentine. There's... Sorry, I'm trying to think about the area because I feel like, I don't know, I see a lot of stone houses and stone things on the map. So it, it could be, could be a lot of things, but I'll think on it. I have a list of things to do on my handy dandy phone here for what I want to accomplish on today's episode because of the fact that I'm getting a little nervous. Camp is very, very empty. And that's making me think that we are moving soon because I can't even barely do anything there right now. So I want to at least try and do the things I know I can do right now. Or at least things that I know what to do for before we move on and deal with all of that jazz. So let's see. One thing for sure we have to do Albert's mission. It keeps disappearing and then reappearing and it's making me nervous because every time it goes away, I feel like I accidentally miss it. So we're gonna do that. But because of the fact that we are really close to roads, there is something that I wanna do. I'm hoping it'll give us a little bit more money because look at our map. <laughs> look at our wonderful light up map. I need to pay off these bounties and it's kind of a lot of money, but we're over 2K right now, so we have a lot of money ourselves. So I think doing this now is the best time ever. But we do have that home robbery over at Aberdeen Pig Farm. So we're going to go ahead and ride over there. Look at this beautiful, fine morning. It's days like these where it's like, I don't know, we just got clear skies in the game. And look at those clouds that are blending in with the mountain. It's it's weather like this. And I'm like, I don't know, like it just couldn't get any better, you know? Like that this is this is what I needed this morning. By the way, in case if you're wondering, it is 100% like not even nine o'clock in the morning right now. I woke up and all I wanted to do was play Red Dead. I was like, this is it. Like it's a good balance of chill gaming, relaxing gaming. And then if it comes to it, like really intense, gunfight type of gameplay and I just really like that healthy balance for my uh, morning routine <laughs> hey, mister. oh hello That's one nice looking horse you got there how about we see how fast it is first one of catfish Jackson's what oh come on move sure why not ready let's go not the guy being like move get out of the way I'm beating you already Wait, where is she going? Where the fuck is she going? Oh, there she goes. I'm like, why is she going the opposite way? Oh, damn. She's, she's going really fast. She's going really fast. Do I get something good if I win? Girl, you're doing shortcuts. You're cheating. Uh-uh, you're cheating. Are you joking? You better be joking. Did 
There we go. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. That's right. Because cheaters never win. Cheaters never win. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Choke on my smoke, bro. This is this is not how we're playing. Good job, Alicia. I was not expecting to do a little race today. I did it. You lose. <laughs> well, I'm surprised I won, honestly. Are you though? Listen, you did good. Darn it! Damn horse acting up on me of all the times. <sighs> oh, is that what happened? Is that why you went the other way? Good race. Could have gone either way. I wish things was different, but hey, take care of yourself here. Yeah? Oh. Good race. Oh, he's gonna just say it way. again. My bad, I thought he was gonna say something else. Listen, is she, okay, that was sweet. She's a good sport about it. Yeah, you can hear some disappointment yeah. in her in her voice. Ooh, look at that boat. Oh my God, sorry, now I'm crashing to the trees because I'm getting distracted. What's new? <laughs> anyway, oh, now it's looking cloudy. Maybe I talked too soon. It was looking so clear. Could be the location we're in right now too. Who knows? But anyway, I'm... Okay, I don't know. I'm just... Whoa, what is this? Oh, this is a tree again. I was like, I see bloody parts. Yeah. We're back where we started. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing good. I'm trying to think if there's anything new going on in my life. Honestly, nothing interesting is going on these days. Like, I'm just here at home playing games, having a good old time. But, ooh, ooh, there's a predator. That's why she's freaking out a little bit. You're good. You're good. Yeah, she's freaking out a little bit. We're fine. Hey, you're okay, girl. It is a process with this horse. Morning, fella. Okay, girl. All right. Also, I hope um, there's people working on a house across the street. I hope you guys cannot hear all the hammering and drilling and weird things going on over there. They've been building a house for like years i want to say it like i feel like project got abandoned and now they're finally rebuilding it again okay what's happening over here stranger where are you is it you damn should i pay my bounties here real quick oh was it not you I, I, i'm looking for my mate Gavin. oh there he is somebody help me oh there you are Hey, huh? wait! Gav? Who's Gav? Can I help you? I've lost my friend. Your friend? Somebody help me, please! Morning. Uh, listen, have you seen- Ooh, his mustache! I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing and uh, now I'm all alone. Oh. Okay. Well, how do I find how do I find him? That's uh, that's too bad. I must be able to find him somewhere. Gavin! <laughs> how do I find this man? He is a real person, right? <laughs> I don't know why I'm assuming that. I I have trust issues. Uh. Okay, he's like stressing. I, I really want to help him. Okay, while we're here, I'm gonna actually go ahead and pay my bounties. We're like going through, oh, I'm so sorry. We're going through the town. Okay, let me just follow the road. That's that's where the post office is. I always have to check. I don't have a problem with anybody. You guys are always so mad at me for riding my horse here like everyone else. I just ride faster. All right, howdy. There's a red dot on the map and it's making me nervous. 
I don't want any trouble now. I'm here to pay off everything I did. <laughs> Every bad little thing, whether if it was intentional or not. Okay. Uh, welcome back. Oh, I'm getting nervous. It's gonna be a lot of money. Look, we're at 2,514. Paying all is only four hundred and seventy-two dollars and fifty cents. I bet there's some very disappointed bounty hunters just outside. Yeah, probably. Um, they've definitely been after me. Thank you for your help. I'm kind of done. Whoa! Jump scare. Easy there. Gosh. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> back to it. Going to the pig farm. Respect to our creator. Ooh, they're burying someone. We pay respect to the dead. Oh no, that's so sad. Oh father, what do we say about a man who lost his way so often? Damn, okay, anyway. Is this like anything at all? Ah! Why are you running? I think because I literally jumped off. Oh, we can inspect it. We can't go in. Definitely looks like a fake door, that's for sure. Oh, here's the empty town I found. Oh my god, and the tombstones. That's so cool. Oh my god, there's strangers over there. What are you guys doing? Wow. That is actually really cool that we stay out. Huh. Oh no, what is this? Who are you guys? They're raiders? I gotta eat something. Law finds me, they'll get near pool about you. Better believe it. Really? You shoot a prisoner in a cage? Well, you're a freaking raider. Like, I don't know what you want from me. You think this makes you a hard case? Huh? I mean... <laughs> That's just how it be. I'm just... I'm like that, you know? You guys aren't friends. I don't even know how to get to this, dude. I can't get in. <laughs> I'm gonna guess he doesn't have anything good. He's a freaking prisoner. I'm going, I'm leaving before something bad happens. Okay, we've made it. <laughs> um, this is like a big house. Hi, sir. Well, Don't be shy, partner. Why is there a person? No such thing as stranger here. <laughs> Well, you're a stranger, it actually says it in my screen, so. Well, you look like you need to take a load off. Well, ain't this a rare treat? Why didn't you tell me we had guests coming? I'd have fixed myself up nice. Oh, now you know you what? look perfect, princess. <laughs> uh, I ain't no guest, miss. I'm just passing through. Oh, no. Yeah, totally. Well, come on in. I wasn't gonna Rest rob you. And we got food on the stove and a bottle of the good stuff we've been saving. It's decided then. I'm gonna go freshen up. What the hell? I don't even have a choice. I appreciate the offer, but I, okay. I best be on my way. Oh, come on now. How are you gonna turn down a hot meal and good company? Who says you're good company? I'll go open that bottle. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what exactly did that prisoner lead us to? 
Are we robbing the place? Or, you know, I was like expecting like an empty house. Hey, there he is! Come on in! Come on! It's a scary painting. I hope she ain't primping for hours up there. We'll never eat. Go check on her, will you? Uh, why do I have to do it? That's your girl. Well, just go hurry her up a little. She won't listen to me. <laughs> go on, partner. This she won't mind. But this makes me nervous. They're gonna kill me. This is a house you would get murdered in. <gasps> well, look who it is. You are hungry, ain't you? <laughs> Not for you. Get out of here. I'm just... Your man told me to come up here. I didn't mean to intrude, miss. <laughs> it's all right. Looking ain't a crime. I'm not looking. Look Arthur look looks away. <laughs> table. I'll be down in a minute. Sure. He uh, just asked me to check on you, that's all. Oh, you don't need to make any excuses. No siree. What if I antagonize her? You should be careful, miss. Inviting strangers in your home like this. Oh, I'm a very good judge of character. I see the look in your eyes. See, but you don't even know that I came here to rob you guys. You know? Or maybe they do know that. <gasps> and that's why they invited me in here to murder me! <laughs> Can I, like, take things yet? Or, like, is that bad? I'm nervous. I, I feel like they're gonna, like, kill me faster if I, if I do it right now. So I'm gonna, like, wait until I can freely loot the whole house. Just in case if anything bad happens. <laughs> I am gonna look around though, just to She'll, see. Uh, be down in just a minute. Woohoo! That is what I like to hear. Hey, now pull up a chair, partner. Wow, ooh, there's a lot of things. There is a lot of things going on here. Some good things. Do I need to pull up this chair? Well, it doesn't let me, so I guess I'm taking her chair. Oh, easy, partner. What? Oops, a day. <laughs> okay, anyway. I'm gonna s <laughs> sit in her chair. She can pull her up pull up her own hey, chair. That's fine. Hey! Wait, this is just about perfect. God. One of them moments you wish could last forever. Well, like I said, uh, I can't stay for long. Then look at us, like a couple of old friends. <laughs> oh, it's a short life, but oh a merry God. one. Here we are, all the fixings. I hope you boys left some room in your trousers. Mmm, that smells delicious. <laughs> The food don't smell too bad, neither. Oh, stop <laughs> it, you! How do you like it? I... Mm, it's good. Different. Oh, God, why? What do you mean, different? Mm-hmm. Mm that meat is so tender. Mm -hmm. You know what? This place used to be a pig farm when we was... when we was kids. Ew, ew, mm. ew, ew! Before we lost our ma and pa. Horrible business. Are you... Horrible. We still got each other, ain't that right, honey pie? And we still know how to have a hog killing Wait a minute. time. Wait <laughs> Arthur's there, face there, is there, me. There, what the there. fuck is going on? Mm. So they're siblings? Mm. Where are my manners? <laughs> Drinks. Yeah, I could definitely use a drink. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm not staying here sober. Fuck this. <sighs> That stuff will put hair on your chest. Oh, oh God! He needs that. Let's listen. You Are you guys poisoning me? Why would I drink another? Come on, honey. I mean, <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> Why not? What the hell is that? That's an old Aberdeen home recipe. Oh, God. That one right there is in 1894. I, no, I'm Feels not. Feels like someone stabbing me in the head. Ugh. Come on, I thought I had a man here, not a boy. <laughs> one more, and you and I both will go upstairs and have a lie down. I don't think I want that. Like, I genuinely don't think I want that. Ah, what the hell? What? <sighs> oh, he had to think about it. 
Oh, this is awful. This is bad. We're not robbing this place, y'all. They're gonna kill me. Oh, about time. I take whatever cat she has on her. Put behind mom. Eight. They did the robbing on me. I have to kill him. I have to kill him. What the hell? No way. Those crazy sons of bitches got some explaining to do. No way. How do I get my money back? That is two thousand dollars. Y'all, we're going back to that house, and it's over. It's gonna be. It's gonna be revenge. Doing revenge. Redeeming. Red. 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 Dead. Red redemption. <laughs> Look, we're not even that far either. Like what? You guys can even like actually kill me and bury me far away. You guys aren't that smart about this. Oh my god, I'm so scared. It's freaking late. Oh my god. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, what do I actually want? So I do want my shotgun. I need to get more freaking ammo for this. We have regular. Oh, we have express. We have a bunch of express. There we go. For the Lancaster. All right. You guys messed with the wrong man. That's, that's all you're gonna hear from me. Can we go in through the back? No, shoot. Okay, we're going in through the front. He better not be sitting on a freaking porch again. Okay, he's not. I'm actually kind of scared. These people scare me. They're, they're a little out there. So, if it comes to it, I am, I am killing them. You, you ain't. Get out of here. Oh god, he's coming down from the stairs. No, Shit. Ah. Ew, I messed her up so bad. <gasps> That's disgusting. Okay. Yeah, it's over. You guys actually suck. And I'm taking everything. Like, that's what you get. Like, what did you think was going to happen? Like, you're going to keep doing this to every person? No, thanks. That's that's not what we do here. Oh, I'm full on the biscuits. I'm full on a lot of things, so... <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, um... Damn, she looks scary, and I don't like it. Okay, Miracle Tonic. Do I, um... Hold on. I could probably just use some of that. Pick another one up. Ew, they have, like, old food sitting and stuff. Like, why? Okay, I know y'all had a lot going on in here. When I was kind of scoping it out. Oh, well, there's nothing, though. <laughs> Cool, cool. Love it. So there's those two things. There's something glowing here. Oh, bitters, 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 bitters. Sewing table. It's all mine. Oh, just kidding. It's empty again. <laughs> Damn, guys. What is what is going on? The cupboard. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. Inspect. This creepy-ass painting. Is it worth anything? Ah! It's hiding something. You sons of bitches. I got my money back. 
You're not that good at what you do. At least they didn't kill me. I don't. I'm not really certain what happened to the person that was laying on me. But uh. Right, right, right. We got the chest there. We got some bourbon. Don't mind if I do. I knew something was up. They got a freaking rusty old bed frame. <laughs> With no mattress on it. I bet you she has something in her room. Oh, my bad. What am I taking? Oh, gum. Okay. Ooh, so we got that. Got the dresser. That's about it. What is this? Oh, it's a photograph. Oh, why are your eyes is crossed out? That's their parents. I'm guessing. Yeah. Christmas. That's creepy. Why would you do that to their faces? Did you kill them? They probably did, actually. That would kind of make sense. Although I don't want to assume. I'm just like, you know. Oh, the, the nightstand, the nightstand. Nothing. There better be something in this cupboard, I swear to God. I feel like I'm missing something. There's no way they don't have anything. Or maybe that's the that's why they robbed me. Well, that's done. <laughs> that was like the most freaky weird thing. And like, but it was also really funny because Arthur's reaction, it was like 100% matching mine. And I'm just, that was golden. And I'm really glad we were able to <laughs> witness that. But holy crap, man. That was weird. I don't want to ever come back. Get me out of here. Oh my god. Okay, so. The next thing. I guess, like, we can make our way over. I would want to make our way over to Albert and just, like, do this while we still can. There also is a bounty in Strawberry, so... I think it'd be nice to go there and actually explore it. It's the one town where we haven't really been able to do anything. So, well, we could hang out there. Did it not have a saloon? What is, what's going on with that? Are you guys a boring town? Don't tell me you're a boring town. Or we could go back to Valentine. I do love Valentine. Actually, we're going to travel to Valentine first because we're it's going to be on our way anyway. I'm going to give Arthur a bath because it's been a while. <laughs> and he, he is a little dirty. And then... I don't know. I guess, like, I kind of want to hang out in the saloon for a little bit and get him something to eat because I know they serve food there. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I want to see Albert and probably visit Strawberry very shortly just to see what that bounty is all about. And who knows? We might not do it today or we might do it today. Oh, I got to put Arthur's hat on. There we go. I knew something looked like it was there was something missing. I'm so bad about remembering that. There she is. We're so close. I don't know why I thought we were further away. I think just like the path over here is more direct. So it takes it does take less time. I always forget. It's really easy to get here. Alright, so we'll do hotel. Do a little deluxe bath. I know y'all like to see that. <laughs> um, and then... Waltzing through here like you own the place. What but is... Driscoll's got designs on it. Oh, you're in a Driscoll? Uh, you guys love it here. I always forget. You guys are all up in here all the time. Oh my god, she is yelling right now. Just not having it. Yay, yeah, we made it! Ooh, can we like go up there? Or do we need to rent a room? Back for more trouble. Think we had enough. Oh, I forgot to brush her. 
Or what am I doing? There we go. Okay. See, he actually, like, does not look that dirty. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> I love jump scaring him. Is it is it an asshole thing to do? Yeah. But it's funny. It's more funny because I always accidentally do it. I don't even mean to, like, ever bust up into places. I'm just really bad about that. Sorry. <laughs> All right, um, scrub our head. Can we ever drink that bottle? Like it's it's in here all the time and I don't ever see an option to do that. And there's a cigar. Actually, that's my first time noticing that. Would you like someone to take over for you? Yes, because I love oh, the interactions. Good. Yeah, thanks. When Arthur tries to talk to them. You can just it's so it funny. Because he like never knows what to say and it just makes it better. Hope the water's hot enough. I hope so. I still can't believe that no small talk is an option. Like, <laughs> you ever do you guys ever I'm sure you You'll do leave this place feeling um, brand new, you know. Playing games? Where some parts of me probably ain't been this clean in months. <laughs> Let's just keep that. Wait, between wait, us which and these which parts walls, are we talking we? about, Arthur? Which parts are we talking about? Anyway, but just like <laughs> I don't know, um, playing games and there's like options that you can choose, but it's like you're clearly they're like mean conversation starters or like you know like the the antagonizing option in this game and different things like. I can never really actually do it. Keep it a quick this time because we got some things to do. Thanks it to see. It was a see. pleasure. All the best to you. Oh, well, the saloon is right there. I just want to order food because I've never done it. <laughs> like, I want to see what they have. Does it change? Oh, it does. We know. No, it's the same. I think I've only ever read the beef chili part of the menu. That's why. Damn, there's a lot of you guys leaving. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and it's empty. Nice. What's your poison? Food. Ooh. Ooh. Let's do a lamb's fry. Oh my god, this is making me hungry. I haven't eaten. <gasps> Stop. <laughs> oh my god. Get me out of here. Hope it stays down. What do you mean hope it stays down? Are you trying to poison me? <laughs> uh let me get a whiskey, whiskey too. Please. Might as well. And then I'm gonna leave, because it, it's, it's her slow hours, so there's not really anything to do. I should come here at night one day and like actually like witness a party. All right, we're good. I'm, I'm leaving. Let's, let's get out of here. Good day to sit by the fireplace. Aw, that does sound kind of cozy. All right, anyway. Quickest saloon trip ever. It's time to see Albert. Before he forgets about us. Because he's, he's a good friend. He's a good friend. I mean, I would say we're friends. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, why not? Um, we've only met each other once, but... He seems like a good guy. He seems... Like... He's, he's nervous. He's a nervous person, but... Actually, before anything, I want to check out this house. I swear I killed these people, and I want to know who's here. You guys were kind of mad that he, uh, oh. hey there. that he died. He's not dead. Well, See? It ain't going at all. What do you we're mean? Broke. Oh. We're about ready to call it quits, to be honest with you. No. Listen, I, 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 I hate to ask, but, but, uh. Is there any way that you could help us get the supplies that we need to finish? Oh, oh damn, a hundred dollars, Jesus. I mean, I'll do it. Like, I'll do it because you don't know this. Um, because you're just a character, but you you died. You died and well, your son ran away. Will you help us? Can I not offer money? Hello? There we go. Alright. Here you go. 
But you best not be playing me for a fool. Oh, I ain't, mister. I swear. You just have to hurry up and finish. Wait, this is actually so cool. Like, you get to see the house being built. Oh my god, guys. The detail in this game is freaking crazy. Like, I'm not, I'm not used to this. And it's so cool. Okay, well, I'm glad to know that he's not dead. Like... Why can't we just quit? Damn, so you just kind of suck, don't you? You're not even doing anything. Looks like you're almost done. I sure hope so. God, I can't wait to get out of here. Oh. All right, man. Uh-uh. I can't take him seriously because of the fact that he literally ran away when his dad died. I, if I'm remembering it correctly, that's exactly what went down. And that's just like... Nah. Ooh, I remember this waterfall. Oh my god, we haven't seen this one in a long time. Well, to be fair, we haven't been over here in a long time. So there's that. Whoa. Lily May. Lily May, you think you're so great. Oh, he's he's going over a breakup. Around. Hey, mister. I just want to be left alone, all right? <laughs> Why? A sentiment I, I'm familiar yeah. with. Fair enough, kid. Oh, that's it? Okay. That's Hold okay. Hands with that stuff. Hello, kid. Yeah, I think we've all been there before. <laughs> you care about this girl? Stand up for yourself. She'll come around. Yeah. Yeah. I've been waiting. You can't be moping around. You you gotta you gotta do something great. You gotta make a move. You need to make an impression. Trust me, kid. There ain't so many good men out there. Make yourself one of the good ones. Thanks, mister. I hope you're right. <laughs> Every single time I play this game, Arthur's gotta do something so good. And I can't anymore you need to stop because you're not real arthur do something bad for once please <laughs> give me a reason to hate you right now here he is and he's not gone yay see your marker on the map friend i'm coming wait where is he though easy easy Oh, there he is. I'm like, oh my god, wait, is he, is he like, invisible? It's a westerly, so, or is it an easterly? We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Hello again. Hello. I scared him. Oh, hello. <laughs> He's How so jumpy, you, just like me. Uh, Morgan, Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my, my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country. And I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Ooh, that's kind of scary. And you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. Like, I don't even do I that. left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you yeah, never Actually, eaten. yeah. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually they are not great fans of man. Don't blame them. Yeah, I wonder why. Me neither. Hey, shh, there's one. Ooh, there's two. Like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Okay, be quick because like we're we're kind of close. On. Come on. No, not them calling everyone else over. Good boys, hungry boys. Come on. Oh shit. Oh my god, he looked right stay at back, us. Stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. 
Magnificent creatures. That was me. Especially was that me? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Eyeballs. Oh god. Stay still, my beauties. They're not staying still, they're wanting to eat us. They're uh uh, we need to do something now, right? 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 Oh my. They don't seem to be fans of modern technology. On the other hand, looks like... Oh my god, wait! I don't have any guns on me! Oh no. Woo! I shot your guys' head! <laughs> I hope you got what you came for. Wait! Oh my god. I guess I'm doing a freaking repeater. So very friendly, are they? Do something, Mr. Morgan. I am, I'm doing something. Ay ay ay. Oh, not him levitating everywhere. <laughs> I wasn't expecting oh, them to freaking eat us or try, or else yeah, I would have grabbed a gun. Be pretty aggressive. <gasps> what a way to I should always grab a gun, really though. That's not an excuse. I'm so sorry. Still worse things happen at sea. <laughs> I should always be prepared. Well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well. I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude, but no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. What? Okay, um, I'm gonna at least... Checking this oh, equipment stop! Is... Only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. Are you joking? This is, oh, this is killing me. This is so sad. Really? Albert, stop talking. <laughs> I like you, but... I hope only in cases of self-defense. This is not going to be a good one. I kind of just wanted for the meat, to be honest with you. Just so we have some food to cook. Don't worry about me. Lightning doesn't strike in the same place. Neither. All right, now we have more big game meat, which is good. It's great. I I don't want this. It. What am I gonna do with it? <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh my god. I really didn't want that wolf to, like, not be dead. It suffered. Did it try to eat us? Yeah, maybe, but... All right, well. That was fun. That was crazy. Let's see. I'm gonna eat something, like... Well, at least to restore... I wanna do my dead eye rings. All right. Um. Oh, my God. Okay, that was... That was a little scary, but I'm glad we saw him again. Damn, I mean, I guess what we could do is just go back to camp, I guess. Oh, wait, no, I wanted to go to Strawberry. Yeah, let's go to Strawberry first real quick. Let's see what that bounty is all about because it could it could be a lot of money too. I know the last one we did was in St. Denis and it did give us, I think, $125. So it's like, we're getting some experience and we're getting the money. Like, it's a win-win. Who are you? Sir, why are you standing on the edge of the cliff, though? Making me a little nervous. See that? That was dead down there. Must have gone off the cliff. Yep. <laughs> Think he's from that uh, cabin up the way there. Oh. Bastard. No. Well, uh, guess I'll tell the sheriff when I get to town. Oh, that's rough. That's so rough. What if I Like I said, I should go let them know in town. Yeah, you should. You're right. Okay. Go ahead. Go on. 
Do you think there's anything good? Damn, how am I going to get back up? So, eh, I'll figure that out in the moment. Whoa, whoa, did you all see that? That was, that was cool. That, oh shit. Okay, that was less cool. Ah, oh man, it's a little rough. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't know who I am. You don't know me. You don't know me at all. Take a letter? A wedding certificate? What? Oh my god, the certificate of marriage certifies that James... What does that say? James Payton and Mildred Barr were hereby united in holy matrimony in the state of West Elizabeth on this 18th day of May AD 1899. Damn it, that's kind of sad. Why we gotta see that? Yeah, because I guess I could loot the guy. And then I think that's it. I feel kind of bad. Not a bride photograph? Oh my god. Now I'm just sliding. Okay, Alicia, come down, but like, don't jump. Find another way, please. Be smart about it. <laughs> Be smart about it, please. Let's not get ourselves killed. Okay. Thanks, girl. Yep. Damn. Okay, wait. Now I kind of want to look at it. Oh, that's so sad. Damn, yep. man. Some of these, like... Ooh. She's freaking out again. Some of these uh, NPC stories are really sad. Is he talking about this cabin? Whoa. What? Oh my gosh. The door is all painted and pretty. Oh, wow. This, this might be someone else's. Whoa. This is kind of freaky. That's really cool. I, I like that cabin. I'd stay there. Oh, here we are. Yeah, we went like the back way. Long time no see. Hopefully you don't remember me uh, ripping your jail apart and shooting a bunch of you guys. <laughs> what does it actually look like on the side? Oh, it looks like all repaired and the same. That's interesting. Literally like nothing happened. Wait, what's the mayor doing? Real quick. What are you guys talking about? Welcome to our fair city. Citizens, enjoy yourselves. Visitors, um. amuse yourselves. We are a simple mountain town for people who believe in a better, wiser, kinder America. <laughs> you sound awful. <laughs> um, well, just do what's best for your town, at least. Be a good mayor. You after a bounty? I can tell. If so, we got a poster on the wall just there. Okay, I see it. I gotcha. Joshua Brown? Ten dollars? Who do you Oh, forty dollars. I was like, ten dollars? But what about what am I doing for ten dollars? Forty dollars is still like I mean it's a lot. It's a lot. Not compared to what we have right now. I feel like now I'm spoiled and I'm like, ugh, I got two thousand dollars. Like what do I do with myself? <laughs> no, this is good though. Forty dollars. Um, Joshua Brown, the, not the notorious shootist, wanted for unlawful killings. Um, Brown is of medium build, dark skin, and long mustache. Last known whereabouts was north of Strawberry. All reward claims will be paid from the V. Farley Strawberry Sheriff Department. Word so he's not far. A home out of an old mine up in the Big Mr. Valley Mountains. But oh. you might want to leave that one on the wall. Josh Brown to be a hard man to kill, let alone capture. 
And that's what we're asking for. Wait, Got really? Half the bounty Damn. hunters in the state out looking for him. I want your advice. I'll ask for it, okay? Happy hunting. Okay, so capture him alive. That seems like more of a challenge. Doesn't it? <laughs> well, we know what happened last time. Um, okay, he's over there. Not too shabby. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is let's go back to camp and kind of like chat with everyone because I really miss them. I miss them so much. And um, we'll give, we'll visit Jack, make sure we give him the thimble before I forget, complete his request. And let's see what's going on with Dutch. I'm a little nervous. Um, I just wanted to do those things today before we started the mission with Dutch. I know a lot of you guys love chapter two and I wanted to stay in it as long as I could. I honestly didn't realize how short it was. So I panicked a little bit and I was like, oh my God, like there's still so many things I want to do. But I also do want to still progress with the story and see what's going on. We'll end the episode with that. Stop oh my god, what? You. Oh, I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Oh, yes. Yeah, We're think right of there. A good reason to say no. Why were you in the bushes, though? <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I ho hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? Oh. <sighs> Well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. Arthur, why'd you... What? Why'd you say that? What are you doing out here anyway? It clearly ain't your natural habitat. I don't uh, know. I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. Oh. You don't say. Okay. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all. Oh, I'd damn. I'd stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I mean, it's not very I big and some might you're call right. It charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame jack and I'll show you Broadway. Yeah, you're oh, in the wrong place. Mayor, already. Uh, quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke <laughs> woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Oh my god, that's well, funny because we were just making fun of him. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no offense. Little taken. Right? I'm Arthur's a good man. Okay. You take that back. This this is why you're not riding on the horse. I get it now. <laughs> I get oh, it now. I remember that. We're on the path. You remember it. Um so you should be good, right? I mean it's like straight ahead, buddy. Making sure you're catching up, man. Walking a little slow. You don't want to be behind my horse. She'll, she'll poop on you. Oh, as he crosses. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, are we close to town? Yes. We definitely are. All right, nothing more to say. Ooh, okay, but look at how pretty, like, the entrance Sarah, looks. Hey, you're welcome, man. You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. Hey. For some reason, you plan to spend oh. any time in <laughs> Strawberry. You may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. What do you mean? All right. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, well, now I want to see the mayor again. What are you talking yeah. about? The welcome center? Well, I don't think he'd be in here, would he? This is just a hotel. Welcome. New in strawberry? Oh wow, it looks really nice in here. Okay, wait, I'm kinda glad I came in here. Like this is this is really cool. This is much more cozy than the one in Valentine. Probably because this is like a whole cabin. That's why it looks like this. Thanks for your assistance. I'm just checking things out. 
Ah, uh, there's an actual hotel hotel right here. Uh, I mean, at least that's what it says. Okay, that's interesting. I don't really know what to make about his comment of the mayor. I'm gonna ride out a little bit and then camp out, cook some of the meat I have, and then a fast travel over to the camp. Oh, it's kind of peaceful. Oh my god. I kind of like it. Having him in the tent like that. Okay. So we have five pieces of big game. I was trying to donate three of them to the camp, um, but unfortunately, <laughs> like I literally can't do anything there right now. So I'm going to try and at least keep some still though. Okay, we have oregano that we can cook with or we have time. I could do one oregano and then one time. I mean, kind of do like one of each. Oh, he's dirty again. I just washed you. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I had him tumbling over the freaking cliff. Um, leave it to me to do that. That's where we need to be swimming to clean him. <laughs> God, like, oh. Hosea spawned and then he disappeared because he doesn't want to be here. <laughs> and I don't blame him. Oh, we're still good on me. Thank goodness. Where's Jack? That's who I need to look for. Oh, he's sleeping. On the muddy ground? This land, hey, Abigail. What the hell happened well, in Valentine with you and John? We survived just, but we can't stay here for long. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right then, Arthur. Am I allowed to wake him up or no? No, I can't. Darn it. Your thimble's gonna have to wait, buddy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I do have it, though, so... Maybe, hopefully, I can give it to you later. Oh, I'm so sad. We're leaving this camp behind. And I really loved it. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me <sighs> of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have well, turned true. into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to yes, do. Yes, Charles! Sure, wait. We haven't traveled with him in so long. I love their conversations together. This is going to be great. All right, Dewberry Creek. Whoa. Get it, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna start going this way. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh. Killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwalls, man. They must know where we are by now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is good that we're moving. Leviticus, Cornwall, and the Pinkertons know we're near. Like, that's really bad. Not ideal. Uh, which way? This way? Whoa. Which way? <laughs> Don't really know why the map is not marked as to what trails I should be taking, but. Hold up. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And 
There ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. It goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> so where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons and better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads has got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. Yeah, I mean, let's not forget the amount of money on our head alone. Just for Arthur. It says it all. It's bad. Seems very open. Yeah. yeah it does. That's not good. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain neither. Well, let's take a look around. Well, honestly, at least this wasn't too I far of a. Over there. Hold up. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Not a dead person. Are you freaking joking? Anyway, I was gonna say at least it's a, it's not that far away. It doesn't seem far away from Horseshoe Overlook. That was a very short ride, so. Not too bad, but... Ew! Oh, he had them big birds on him. He looks gray and old. Looks like trouble got here before us. That's terrible. Well, what, what do we want to do? What do we want to do, Charles? There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. Oh. You started it. Wait, hold on. Let me make sure I have all the weapons I actually want. Okay. You see there? Tents and a wagon. Looks deserted. Okay, well. Let's have a look around and make sure. Making the entrance way right by the open field too. Yeah, this could be good. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. Careful. He's always careful, that's right. Can veggies. Whoops. I'm trying to use my dead eye here and not try to look behind me. <laughs> okay. A lot of canned food. Sure. Someone's still here. Oh. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. I'm trying to take the veggies. There we go. Little things in here. Ah, uh, pistol cartridges. Um, oh, something blinking under here. What do we want? Oh, there's people! <laughs> They're hiding! Oh no. 
It's okay. It's a mom and her kids. It's okay. Come out of there. Thank God she didn't just shoot right away. You okay? <laughs> you don't mean no harm. Damn, her hand's on the trigger. That's kind of scary. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? It's German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Damn, Arthur. Get the hell out of they here. They took off Aza. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? Ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. See, we need Charles. He he keeps us in way. check. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. Yeah, that's all you. You're good with the trails. I'm yeah. I'm good with the guns. Tracks. So. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. I... Okay. Let me check this. Looks like they go down this way. Nice. He was able to see it that quickly. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. Right? We should have moved right then if you ask me. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. By the water. Continues along the shore here. So you were saying, bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah. Uh, like it makes kid. me. It's gonna be. Yeah, it makes him. me so mad that they had to do all of that in well, front of the kid. And we're taunting him too. Sad growing up. At least the gang is loving. Like John said Arthur's he's got going a point. Back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good hey. one. My hey. bad, my bad. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real. Wait, just. Let me oh, make sure man. this is right. We moved too fast. Sorry. They carry on along this trail. Now, I was saying, when Jack was real young, a long while, year, he did, and we was family, you know. I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Hold! Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Ah, see, this would be nice. By the water? Hold on now. We might be onto something. This dad might have led us to something really good. Oh shit! <laughs> He's actually right there. I didn't even realize he was squirming. Alright, do we have everything that we need? Where is this yeah, guy? we got our guns. I don't know. We're good. But you know something? This is a better camp spot. Sorry, Charles. Out of habit, man. Much easier to defend. 
Ew, Maybe. what is that? There he is. Raw meat. It's just raw meat, I think. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. Dang, how long have you been here? Trying to find the forest. Take cover! Three coming right at us. You get the hell away from here. It's okay, it's just three of them. What are we doing? This ain't even our goddamn fight. That all of them doesn't look like We're it. here now though, so we gotta deal with it. We got more right in it. Why am I here? Why am I here? Why am I in this spot right now? Is that it? Well, that's them dealt with. Oh, Here okay. That was quick. Let's see what they've left behind for us. Whew, okay. Here, it's okay. We're getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Oh, wow. Okay. Let me, uh, loot real quick. I can't believe we're moving. Like, this is, I don't know. It's feeling very bittersweet right now. Like, ooh, like, new things. Like, change is good. But, like, it's been so nice over in our area. Okay. I guess we're leaving. Gotta do something with this guy. All right. Come on. I'll take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? For now. Yeah. For now. Oh, there's another guy. What you got? Yeah, he's like restless. Can't stay on the horse, huh? <laughs> All right. Bringen Sie mich hin. What the hell did you do to those fellers? <laughs> Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner uh, Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld Gold mining bekommen. business. It, how did someone even come up with them words? <laughs> Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? <laughs> Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Well, you know, more than some, so there you go. That's so funny, though. Oh, my God. I don't know where exactly to go. I'm just going to off-road it, I guess. I think it should be around this way. Hopefully, if we just go straight, it'll lead us to it. And not there off a cliff are. or something. There we go. Oh, God, I dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, oh du sagst du Gott. um... Beinahe wär's so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge. Meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass wir sie getroffen haben. Come well, on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos! Vamos! Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Ein Moment. Uh, um, oh shit! Dankeschön. He's giving us gold. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Oh my God! Thank you so much, kind sir. Guess it was a pleasure. Yeah. Wow. You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. That is beautiful. 
We actually have a bunch of water near us. Like, that's amazing. Oh, chapter three, Clemens Point. One chapter left behind, guys. A few days later. Both like campus all fixed up. Looks like it is. Oh my god, his beard! It's so long! Oh my god. Oh, that's great. Should we keep it? I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep it. Like, I don't know how to feel about it. Oh, Jack! Yes, we can give it to him. Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. Oh, wait, I can't. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Darn it. Okay, Uncle oh, Arthur. Oh, new horses are available to purchase in Scarlet Meadows and Strawberry Stables. Oh, here we go. Here, we can give it to him. Jack, I found you a thimble. Oh, thanks, Uncle Arthur. I drew you a picture. It's by your tent. <laughs> thanks, kid. Oh, my God. What? Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go for a little swimmy swim and clean myself, if y'all don't mind. All right, um, I guess this is a good time to talk to everyone. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, this it'll do for now. What I said. Anyway, Water's nice. Won't disturb you. All right then. John. You must be nervous being this close to the water. <laughs> oh, don't you start. Oh, because he can't swim. Yeah, <laughs> just looking out for you. Okay, well, let's talk more They're later. so cute. Sounds good. Oh, my God. Arthur, you okay? Yeah. So tell me, was that bad in Valentine? Bad yeah. enough to need to move, that's for sure. Well, I should get back to it. Yes, yeah, see you later. Morning. You think you can make this place work? Of course. Don't I always? Sure. All right, well, I should be getting on. We'll see you later. Well, here we are, Tilly. Moved again. That's the way I it know. goes. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Yes. See you later. I'm wondering what the actual timeline was and, like, how long we were in Horseshoe Overlook. Good morning, Arthur. So, what do you think of the place? Seems fine. For now. Yep. Should I think it's cute. A bit of time, I hope. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure. Everything okay? Yeah. Apart from Mrs. Adler's constant complaining. Well, <laughs> can't do much about that. She's going through it. Okay, she's, she's really going through it. Let's donate the meat. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. I have, before I forget. There you are. Um, what am I supposed to do with the wolf heart? Can I give that to them? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna donate it. Good job, Arthur. Thank you, Arthur. Okay. You spoke in a Dutch since you got back. Yes, Morgan. Air is cleared. We're moving on. You're lucky he made me come for you. Okay, I'll catch you later then. <laughs> I love Whatever him being all threatening, say. and he's like, Okay, see you later. <laughs> hey, you gonna join me here? You alright, Bill? Can't believe we're running away from Cornwall. What's happened to us? Well, we gotta do what we gotta do. It's time to move. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay, then. Yeah. Oh, inspect letter. Oh, what's this? From wishing I wasn't gonna Letter to Lenny from Father. January 12th, 1894. My dear Leonard. It is only three days since you and your mother stood on the platform so dutifully until my train was out of sight, and already I feel compelled to write. How handsome you looked then. You must learn chastity, young, and learn it well. There are truths a man of my upbringing finds it easier to set down than to speak, even to his son. I expect this is not easy for a boy to understand. In some ways, I hope you do not understand it. Here is one such truth. I know that I have sometimes been more a tutor than father to you, but do not let my sermons on your future as a lawyer persuade you that I see you more as pupil than son. When we meet again on Sunday next, I expect I will have stiffened 
once more. But this brief distance gives me liberty to tell you that you have redeemed more than you know, or can ever know, or should ever be expected to bear. I expect the yard to be clear of snow when I return. I see that it bores you, but you must learn to accommodate yourself to all useful labor, however menial. And as always, read this letter aloud to your mother, and where I have written is not, do not say ain't. I am as ever, your loving father. Wow. Learning a little bit about Lenny and his family. Why is it just sitting there randomly? You okay, Sadie? Oh, okay. I'm no damn oh. kitchen maid. Pearson's driving me crazy. I thought she was giving us the silent treatment. Okay, well, let's talk more later. I mean, I'd be kind of mad if I was stuck doing that too, I guess. That is fair. That is really fair. You behaving there, O'Driscoll? <laughs> I'm not no Driscoll, sir. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. Yeah, I know. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Mm, is that a request? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Do I not okay. have any? If I see some, I'll bring it you. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I don't have any, apparently. Oh, wait, yeah, I, I do. I was like, it sounds familiar. I might have ran into it. You wanted. Oh, you actually... Well, thank you. This will make a good batch, all right? Nice. Okay. I don't remember where I found those, but... <laughs> There we go. Yeah, let's let's look at the picture that Jack drew. I have a feeling it's gonna make me cry. Oh my god. So that, is that supposed to be me with him and Abigail, or is that his dad? And he's just giving it to me. I'm guessing it's me. Cause then like why would he give it to me, right? And that is like the cutest thing ever. Oh my god. Oh, that's so cute. Let me, uh... I gotta look at... Weapon equipment. Bandoliers. I'm gonna wear one. I don't ever put it on, and I think that would help a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, Guys, do I shave? I kind of want to. Like, I don't know. <gasps> let's just see how it looks, I guess. Here, let's at least trim it. There we go. That That's that's okay. That's okay with me, right there. Good morning. Good morning, Got a Strauss. New market for you, Mr. Strauss. Yes, indeed. And away from Valentine. <laughs> Not that far away. Well, I should get back to it. That reminds Thanks me, I do much, Arthur. kind of want to see where are we at the map? Okay, we're closer to roads. Okay, I see. The good news is we have fast travel now, so even if we did want to visit any other towns around, like, it's easy to get there if we wanted it to be. And we're closer to St. Denis, so that's really exciting. I'm hoping we get more actual, like, missions there soon. Um, let's see, we're full on bitters. We're full on that. We're full on that. We're full on that. I guess we could, uh... Yeah, see, a lot of these we just, like, find around. Ooh, okay then. Um, I'm gonna look at some camp upgrades real quick. We have a lot of money. Good oh, Hosea! Sure. So what do you think, Arthur, of Dutch's latest plan? You know me, I never did much thinking. <laughs> yeah, I know you like to hide behind the angry moron act, but it's a thin enough veneer. If you say so. Time to start thinking, Arthur. You're right. Before it's too late. I know. I know. And I see he's got a lot of hope in me. Oh, Dutch looking at the water. <laughs> Alright, quick camp upgrades. Ooh, a bad wing, Susan. <laughs> That's pretty dope. 
the good stuff. So it increases the total supplies. Mmm. Treat ourselves. These are really cheap. Oh, improve the rest of the tents and camp. Ooh, improves overall mood of the camp. That would be kind of nice. Ooh, wait, so if we do this, it adds throwing knives, shotgun, and rifle ammo. So that's pretty cool. Mmm, a chicken coop. Add nutrition to all camp stews. Dead eye boost when consuming stew. That would be pretty nice. Got a horse station. We read about that before. Now we have a camp boat. Buy a boat for the camp. Easy transport and access to fishing holes. We do have that big body of water, so that could be something really nice. Um, I kind of want to do this soon because I don't know, like I really like camp interactions and if this is going to improve the mood, I don't know like how well or immersive it actually becomes, but I think it'd be worth a shot. And I'm going to do some of the ammunition as well. So we can kind of see what's going on over there and get all stocked up and we won't have to visit the gunsmith so often and i'm gonna do this yolo <laughs> it's happening and i still do have that um gold bar and a bunch of other things i need to sell to the fence okay well we got all the lodging upgraded so that's good i'm gonna stop there for now <laughs> And I see Molly. Whoa, she was over there. She kind of left. Where'd you go? I was going to say hi. How you doing, old friend? <laughs> um, it's funny. What's ending up down here? My daddy died in the field in Pennsylvania. Fighting this lot. I have to tell you that. Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. What are we doing, Dutch? We <laughs> it's nice out. Okay, we're doing this. I <laughs> says there's a crick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Oh, uh, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would. My days are looking good along, old man. Oh, are we all still Always going though? Green crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Hosea, let's go fishing. All right, gentlemen, let me show you how it's done. Oh, we are going fishing. Okay, that'll be fun. <laughs> you can see the panic in my eyes, so I was like, oh wait, this is starting a mission, but I don't know if I want to start it yet. And we're in it now, though. Let's let's just do it. We're getting it all. <laughs> oh, there's Karen and Sean. Why don't we just fish oh, here? They're doing oh, watch right? together. It's kind of oh, cute. I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there. Oh, it was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Time feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. He's lecturing now, us. We do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. 
I think that's a note for yourself. I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Uh, We've got to be can't street. use weapons and Imagine roads. What a clue of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, That's interesting. This is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. <laughs> play it cool. Act natural. Whoa. We're great at that. We'll be fine. Just don't say anything. We could just ride by. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. What? I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. Trelawney. No way. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Bribe them? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray, this is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. That, that's a good you fake name right there. <laughs> Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir. What did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Sure they're trying to pick the lock. That's so funny. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I, shit! I, the Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Ooh, yikes. Oh, it's bad. Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur. Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. What? On, what? Okay. We can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Okay, on, well, I don't know how you want to do this. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax it's or not? It's a Faster, fast train, man. My horse sir? can only go so Arthur, fast. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. <laughs> this has got to be bad. Ooh. That must have hurt. Leave him. Stay with that train. Okay. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Well, I mean, I sure will try. I don't know which side I'm supposed to be in. Get in closer. Trying. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. Okay, you okay. You think you can jump on there? Probably. Hey, Probably. Me. Because you ride like my grandmother. You what? are something else. Damn. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not even a cop, man. Get your facts straight. Oh god, we gotta run. Stay on them. Trying. Oh wait, there was like something that just prompted. I don't know what it said though. My bad. I'm just here to do what I'm told to do. I'm really trying. It's hard. Ooh. Oh, we're gonna have to fight. We're gonna have to fight. Ooh, yikes. Ooh. <laughs> I haven't fought anyone in a while. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Official you. law business. Oh, it's just a bunch of stuff we can loot. That's interesting. With a knife? Can't do that. 
What? I gotta fight him with a knife? Oh, please, no. Please, I don't want to. He's gonna, he's gonna, oh! He's slicing me with a knife. Like, what do you want from me? Oh my God. Oh my God, this is like a very unfortunate uh, angle here. You can't really see anything. Did I just kill him? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Okay, well, I'm just gonna... Oh, I gotta pick him up. Alright. I can't believe you took that knife. I'm gonna be all sliced up and hurt. Arthur does not deserve that. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. Okay. A fine job. Well done. Thank you. A pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Teamwork makes the dream there work. There you go. You are a natural. Okay. All right. Let's take him in. Follow me. Are you sure he's not Nobody dead? His neck oh, definitely cracked. Up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. But I think Are we're familiar, familiar with, with the, area the law. Here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Oh, wow. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. Oof. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Getting all the awful tea. People. Truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I can definitely see that. Bear left here. Cool. This is not the mission I was expecting. I thought we were gonna go on like a boating trip and like kind of hang out and go fishing and talk about our lives. <laughs> That's not very Red Dead, though. I guess now that I'm thinking about it. But whoa! Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. My thank you. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. Cool. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? It's a lot. It's pretty nice. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're going to stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Yes. I think my horse would appreciate that very much. So. Just bring him here. One, give me a second. <laughs> Mr. Gray, we got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here. Your idiot friend is free to go, but no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, <laughs> mostly we're just good. honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Uh, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't Ooh. thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. 
the edge of town, behind the church. Oh. Horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and the Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where do you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents. Super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. That's... It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah, what a small world that we just happened to come across him right at that very moment. <laughs> like, that is that okay. is helpful. So these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these... Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, out there. All right. You are so Quite welcome. Efficient <laughs> right. There's still time. That's what I'm saying. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Oh, are we doing it? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? No, we gotta do it. Sure. Why not? We gotta do it. Have a boys' Great. day out. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Oh my god, okay. are we not going to talk about the massive pile Let's of poop? See if we can avoid any more excitement. How many horses just shit there? <whistles> With all the damn flies! Oh my god. Glad none of us stepped on it. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Alright, gentlemen, follow me. Following. Oh, he stepped on it. Hosea! No! <laughs> it can't be! So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. Seems we'll like see it. You're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Um, let's talk about Trelawney. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. Which is quite impressive. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vandalin, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawney. <laughs> what a terrible thought. Right. We don't need an army of them right now. That's the last thing we need. Trelawney is a cool character, though. I mean, I wish we had more interactions with him. And honestly, I kind of forgot about him until today. <laughs> we haven't seen him in a while. So, he's a funny one. I'll give him that. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Oh, nice. This doesn't seem too far from camp. I recognize the bridge we just crossed not too long ago. That's some good news. Whoa, what is my horse doing? Oh. 
got a mind of her own sometimes, I swear. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. So are we gonna find one? Coming past. Yeah, hey, okay. those are the boats you mean? Ooh. Yes. Good. Nice. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Well, as long as Come we on. give it back, I guess. There's no one Easy. here to see. Hmm. I guess we could do this one because it's closer to the water. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. I might have okay. to agree. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Ooh, nice. Oh, okay, here we go. Man, thank God there's three of us. Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. <laughs> You're too dumb for anything else. Damn! You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water. Oh god, Great. okay. Good luck, and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck? Good fish. That'll do too. Keep going. Rowing this bad boy all by himself? That's kind of impressive, Arthur. I think he is good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Okay. She really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better uh. chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with good old worm? A uh, worm's... Hold on. Ah, here we go. Good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Yeah, okay. Something's nibbling. Ooh, there we go. He's got to reel him in now, Arthur. Ooh. Damn it, I lost him. There, hooked him. Okay, are we good? There we go. There we go. We got it. <laughs> Look at this. We got it. There you go. That's a pretty well big done, one. Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than Ooh. that. A well, largemouth bass, that's why. a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Yeah? 50 pounder, he reckon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I would like to see that. Good job, Arthur. Yeah, I'm ah, gonna keep that. Should have had that one. Plus 20. Just for that? Oh, oh my there. goodness. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, huh, this again? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, you do. He was maybe 20. 21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish? Or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Nicely done, Arthur. That is very true. Oh, uh, we got another one? I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name I'm was. getting a lot of largemouth Real basses. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. Ooh, what was that? Did y'all see that? But that was scary. One day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue... Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, 
That was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, dear God. <laughs> uh, <that's my> <laughs> sure. Now, reel him in, Arthur. They're funny together. Like, I love this chemistry here. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet this is different one, one. Night until Kaka went and scoffed Ooh. the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, yeah, it's Ooh, a trout. Never lost Rainbow the trout. Him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying Getting how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. It is a lot of change. You got a bite. Do I? No, I don't. You just lied to me. It's the second time because I thought I had a bite earlier and I didn't. Water? <laughs> really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient <laughs> child. I would think not. I can only imagine. <laughs> Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. There we go. Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. That's on the hook, Arthur. Yeah, it is. Oh, it looks like another there trout. That's a nice one. Yeah, it is. Look at me catching everything. And what are you guys doing? Nothing. <laughs> Not worth keeping that one. It sure is. I'm going to have so much food. Whoa, look at that big thing. We're not going to talk about that? Hold on now. I, I kind of want it. Well, let's see. Maybe we can catch him. Maybe not, though. We could sure try. No, well, we might not feel a bite with this one. It's getting a little too close to the boat now. All right. That's okay. Let's go out here again. See, this is nice and peaceful. This is what I was imagining earlier before. <laughs> we just got caught up in some Trelawney drama. You got something biting, Arthur. Yes! Fish on the line, Arthur. Yeah. It's happening. I'm doing it. Oh, it's another little small trout. Not bad, Arthur. I'm getting so much trout. Ooh, this one's bigger though. It's slightly. Oh, Arthur's pleased with that one. I'm pleased with all of them. You got a bite there, Ooh, Arthur. Okay. Well done. Oh, it's a little Make one. Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. No, you're right. Okay, I'm I'm actually done. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. I Already? caught a lot of fish, okay? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Yeah. Can we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. Yeah. The well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Oh. Uh, they're gonna sing right, now. I, I love this. I asked that girl to give me something. <laughs> <laughs> I 
that gal to give me some. She says, wait until the taters is done. Taters. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. My game keeps like flickering. I don't know why. Messing with me. That was a good song. I like their energy. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round around around? Shall we go dance this round around around? Maybe it is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round around Oh, they're having so much fun. Like this is refreshing to see giving everything that's happened. Recently, the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them, we dance this round around around. To them, we dance this round around around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round of round of round of round The grand ending. You know, Look at Arthur singing like and paddling. Impressive. Yeah, we did serious business. Serious fishing business. Won't you look at that? I almost bought a boat for the camp, too. Maybe we don't need to after all. Or maybe we still should. I don't really know. All right. I think I, but I mean, we are going to be okay. I know. Oh, I always know whenever I got you two by my side, things are going to be just fine. Yeah, I hope so. I sure hope so. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going All right. to in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Oh, thanks, man. You know, I think I've heard Arthur, of you. Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Just a... Just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. Oh no, well, Uncle. I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Oh. Anyway, I won't disturb you. There's a dot. Oh, a pamphlet. Oh, horse meal. I've learned the horse meal recipe. How to prepare harvest and store three of each. Beets, hay, and currants. When ready, you pulverize by hand, press into a tight ball, store it securely from rodents, and use as necessary. Did you know? Never let another man sit on your robe or blanket, as this often it transmits lice. True! <laughs> oh, it's for your horse's general health. The current has a wide array of me medicinal uses, including alleviation of female troubles, arthritis, gout, colic, and a whooping cough, as well as disorders of the bladder. Combined with beets and hay, it's a restorative healthy meal for horses that can't be beets. How does it make you feel that I read that all out of order? <laughs> How your girl started all the way at the bottom, forgot their stuff at the top. I, I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> all right, well, we got that. That's pretty impressive. And also we have something here. Oh, it's horse stimulant. Someone left that. That's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. We love to see it. All right, guys. Well, with all of that, I think I'm going to end the episode right here. Thank you all so much for watching. We are finally in chapter three. It feels kind of sad, but 
feels refreshing because you know there's new change and it's opening up new doors for us so i'm very excited we've got a few missions already lined up for us so that could be a good thing to do although there are a few other side things i'll probably want to try and do next episode as well so stay in tune for that and yeah make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the post notification bell to stay up to date on the rest of my red dead redemption 2 uploads We'll be having a blast, and as always, hope to see you next time. Thank you.